Hangklip is an iconic landmark of Pringle Bay. For decades, the Feinbos in this area remained untouched by fire. Every 12 to 15 years, this indigenous vegetation must burn in order to fully regenerate. On Tuesday, however, a blaze fueled by strong wind, coupled with the dense vegetation, created a massive fire. At the last count, four homes were gutted. By Wednesday morning, the community returned to their homes. Hanklip is now barren as the fire slowly makes its way towards Betty's Bay. A precautionary evacuation order is in place for residents. I've just taken a, a car to family with some of our valuables. But other than that, you can just uh, uh, observe and try and assist wherever possible. So we've dropped up, off some supplies at the uh, community hall and uh, others have provided housing to volunteer firefighters. Um, and as, as I explained, we've provided housing as well. But there isn't much you can do um, apart from support the experts. Several difficult days still lie ahead. We're not in the clear yet. We predict that we must probably be able only by most probably Friday. The next two days is critical, I think. Uh, so by Friday we should be able to, to have it under, under control. Once again, it comes from our five people, so I trust in that. So hopefully by the weekend we should be out of the woods. At the launch of the fire season readiness campaign, the provincial authorities expressed deep concern. Following two major floods, the increasingly dense vegetation posed a risk. Combined with strong wind and very hot temperatures, it could act as fuel and fires could quickly burn out of control. Alien vegetation added to the concerns as the impact of global warming has seen fires burning hotter and faster than ever before. And we're going to call a climate change summit because it's also going to determine our planning going forward, um, bring in climate change thinking um, in our planning. Um, I've just touched on with the mayor and the Overstrand councillors how when we rebuild, when we plan and get the opportunity to replan, it's no use, we rush to fix, but we don't bring in the thinking of climate change and otherwise it's going to wash away or burn again next year. So definitely climate change is going to be caught to our planning going forward. Municipalities across the province have memorandums of understanding in place to assist each other. More than 90% of all fires are caused by human activity and the public is urged once more to be extremely cautious when making or working with fire. Mariska Boerta, SABC News, Overstrand.